Hey Aries, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. We're going to take a look at your individual energy. We'll go ahead and get right into it. We have the seven of wands that comes out reversed for you. Some of you could be having a barrier in communication with people around you. This could be colleagues. This simply could be another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Barrier in communications. For some of you guys, you realize it's not worth it to have any conversations or converse with whoever this is. It says no matter how hard you try to explain something to the other parties, they are not agreeing with you. There's no buy-in and you feel like there are wasted efforts on a plan or a project. No success. We get that. To put it in another context here, some of you were defending yourselves against the competition, but then you realize it's not worth it. Also with the Seven of Wands here, I feel like there's something where somebody could actually retreat stepping back. I'm not going to do this anymore. I feel like I failed. I give up. I do not have any confidence. So either you, Aries, or a separate Aries Leo Sagittarius does not have any confidence that an issue can be resolved or something can't be fixed. It's a challenge that you're not going to win. And some of you guys are like, I don't even have the courage to do it anymore. It's pointless, right? So you guys have some understanding about a situation. For some of you, this has to do with your job. This has to do with a group of colleagues, work, there's something where there's something that's going to come to an end. It could be a position that you have. I don't know if this was a temporary position, but it looks like something's coming to an end. This is about a group, not just about you, Aries. All right. So at work, there's going to be the end of an era with a group of colleagues. For some of you guys, you are going to be completely shocked about how this ends. For some of you, you're going to be sitting at your desk and you never knew it. Nobody's listening to that. There's something that you guys, I think that there's something that you guys don't believe is going to happen. You're like, there's no way that's going to happen. I've been doing this for 30 years. There's absolutely no way. Yeah, there's a way. It says something's going to end and it's going to be dramatically shocking to you. It's because you guys didn't expect it to come. Now, not only could this be about colleagues, something ending, something being final, a closure, right? This is also about an arrangement in your life. Some of you guys could have been in a relationship or you have some kind of arrangement business deal. It's going to be cut out of your life. It says for some of you, there's something about a divorce. Some of you are quitting a job. Some of you are changing careers. Some of you have been through a situation that is so bad. It caused so much stress, exhaustion. For some of you, you need to ask for help. You have a lot of responsibilities on you. And then when this situation ends with a group of colleagues, you're going to have more stress on you. I want, to tell, I want to let you guys know, too, somebody could have been physically attacked. Maybe somebody told you, hey, I was physically attacked, or maybe you were. There's a possibility of that, too. This is about hitting rock bottom with the Ten of Swords, all right? That's about somebody physically attacking you. Somebody could have tried to off you, Aries, or didn't want you around. Somebody could have did something to you physically. Now, we do have the Eight of Cups that comes out. Some of you made poor judgment in a relationship. Some of you neglected this relationship, walked away from this relationship because somebody was immature. It could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who is completely immature in a situation. I see where there's something where there's one partner that could not appreciate who you are, Aries, or Aries, you couldn't appreciate who your partner is, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, I also want you guys to know that when one of you walk away from this situation, there's a possibility somebody's going to end up regretting it. I guarantee one of you is going to end up regretting it because of a decision that was made. You have the star card. This card is reversed here. Now, this is a creative or emotional block. This is where a partnership loses its way. I want to be very clear. It's a partnership that loses its way. There's a need for somebody here, you or Aquarius, to have some kind of direction. For some of you guys, you need to create something for your own good, something that's going to help you, something that you do on your own. I feel like for some of you guys, maybe, maybe you never created anything before. Not sure what that means to you. You could be in a public eye. Whoever you are, Aries, you could be suffering some sort of depression, illness. For some of you guys operating in uh, arrogance or there's an Aquarius who could be operating in arrogance towards you, which is why you decided to leave a relationship. I feel like somebody may have showed who they truly are later on in a relationship. For some of you, this could simply be a colleague who put all this into motion. But I do see where some of you are looking for some sort of renewal. 
Now, with the star card reversed, not only is it about depression, illness, arrogance, it's also about impotence. Impotence. Somebody does not have the ability to have sex or there could be an Aquarius out there that just, I don't want to have sex with you. I don't want to have any intimacy with you because you're just, maybe this is just your emotion towards these people or maybe there's so many things going on, your sexual desire has been suppressed or so something like that, right? I feel like for some of you guys too, Aries, you could simply be ignoring an Aquarius or there could be an Aquarius ignoring you. They don't want to bother with you. This person may have left the group because of you or you left the group because of them. In some cases, you guys have folks leaving jobs because of something that was done. In some cases, you're going to have folks that are asked to leave jobs because of something that was done. We have the three of cups that comes up. This is growth and healing after this horrible situation, right? For some of you guys, love is going to grow to a new level. For some of you, this three of cups means that there was a child born. So that could also contribute to what happened here, right? So let's take a look at this. Love grows. A relationship goes to the next level. A child is born or creativity flourishes. Now, remember, for some of you guys, this was, it is love. But for some of you guys, it's about a divorce. It's about the end of a group or something like that. But there is healing that comes with it. And if this is a relationship that you decided to renew, where's the star card? With this star card, because this is the mother star here. With the star card, somebody could have tried to renew something. Even though there was depression and all these other things, I see where there's some healing. In the group, there's completion. Somebody's going to fall in love. Somebody got pregnant. But feelings that were murky at one point are now made clear. There's going to be some sort of abundance with friends. And this is coming after a time of heavy things happening to you guys, right? Those communication barriers where you were trying to talk to your partner. Something where something may have happened with your job. A shocking ending. The eight of cups reversed. Lack of maturity. But then a creative or emotional block in a partnership. But it does look like there's some renewal. All right, so we see that. Things are going to be made clear to you about why something happened. And if your partner took off on you, I want you to know, whoever you are, Aries. I think that's the garbage guy. They're regretting it big time. Let's just put it that way. They're regretting it big time. They pick right now to come, right? I should have known. They're usually they're here at like 5 a.m go with this There's always something over here I tell you you got speeding cars let me just let them pass by i'll be happy to entertain you for a minute while i shuffle these any other time they're here at like 5 a.m i don't know why that switched up but whatever hopefully they'll hurry up and be on their way <laughs> all right now i'm going to take a look and see what is the barrier in communication about i feel like for some of you guys this could be about a job this could be about a plan or a project at work that was pivotal and it didn't work. There was something that ended with a group of coworkers, probably because there was no success to a project, if that makes any sense. So if you collaborated with a group of people at work or something like that, wasted efforts. You try telling these folks, hey, Aries is like, um, this is not going to work. This is a wasted effort. I'm trying to get you guys to see something and you won't see it. So I feel like you guys have put your opinion out there. You guys are walking away from a situation. Maybe some of you guys are walking away from a Scorpio. You are having some memories here. There's going to be some sort of steady gain as you walk away from a situation after some sort of a hardship here. You guys are taking responsibility and bringing harmony to your own lives. And it looks like you could be bringing harmony to a water sign, Scorpio. Give me more. What's this Ten of Swords? Tell me what the Ten of Swords is, please. What is this ending? Or what else do we need to know? Or what other story do we have? For some of you guys, this is a page of wands. All right. This is some kind of courage and excitement. Somebody was a free spirit. Huh. Somebody's love of their life. Enthusiastic discovery. With the Page of Wands, I feel like there could be somebody here who could be immature or childish, right? Somebody who could have been new to something. Maybe somebody was new to a job, new to a situation or idea. This is somebody who is learning something new. They're optimistic. So you guys, who could this be? There's somebody that you're having nostalgic feelings about. This could be a child. This could be somebody younger. There's something that you discover about somebody. Hmm. Some of you guys had to abandon this child or a child abandoned you or somebody immature abandoned you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Give me more. Help me understand what this is. 
All right, we all, yep, somebody made poor judgment. It's just confirmation and poor judgment. And that's exactly what came up in the cards. So somebody made poor judgment about a situation. Eight of Cups reversed here. Lack of maturity, poor judgment, confirmation. Somebody failed at a situation, failed to get something off the ground, failed to complete a project. There's a six year harmony. There's two that has something to do with partnerships, balance, duality. I'm showing that there, you were looking to have some kind of cooperation. But I feel like it didn't happen because there's poor judgment here. There could have been poor judgment with an Aquarius. Some of you guys got into a relationship with an Aquarius. This could have been at your job. Some of you guys could be actively divorcing an Aquarius. Somebody wanted to. There could have been an Aquarius out there who wanted to cultivate or create something for their own gain, Aries. And I think you understand that now. For some of you, you're taking a step back in your own private way so you can figure some things out. And at this time, the cards say that you do not care what outsiders think. Some of you guys, you are concerned about getting your life together. Some of you guys hit it, something. Some of you guys could have literally had a baby and got laid off or asked to leave a job the next day. Some of you guys were asked to leave because of a project. Something didn't go right at a job. I feel like, I don't feel like this is a layoff. I feel like this is a something else. Like, why did you do this? It's kind of like, it feels like poor judgment, which it is. But I feel like somebody saw it. I feel like either, it might have been you that saw it. Maybe you guys told something, reported something. Because a whole bunch of people at your job are going down for this. Whatever this is about. Or there's going to be some separation. I feel like you guys may have been... If you were the group of people... I feel like many of you have been working with these folks for a long time. Many years. And it's going to abruptly come to an end. There's going to be a change in career. You're going to see divorces out of this, but somebody's going to have a child out of this too. And it might be a newborn. Yup, confirmation. Ten of swords again. There's going to be some kind of ruin. Somebody tried to ruin you. You guys failed at something or somebody failed at trying to do something to you. Gemini energy. It could have been a Gemini that made a poor judgment over you, Aries, or Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Hmm. Huh. Let's see Give me more. What else do I need to know about this situation? Tell me about Scorpio and tell me about the Page of Wands, please. Scorpio and Page of Wands. Scorpio and this kid, this career. Somebody's trying to, somebody move forward with progress. Somebody wants to move forward with progress to do something. Hmm. Somebody wanted some sort of recognition for something. Somebody moved with confidence. This could have been a Leo energy they felt like they could get something done. Tell me more. Give me more, please. They wanted recognition for something. Somebody wanted... It looks like somebody's going to be bringing you guys good news, actually. It could be a Leo. Victory, recognition, good news. This could be your boss because it says somebody's bringing good news. Oh, okay, I see it. For some of you guys, something happened with a group of people at your job. You're going to have a Leo who's a boss come to you and give you some good news. Mm. All right. This is going to be something. Oh, they're giving you good news about how they found out somebody maybe at your job or there's a Virgo near you who did something careless, meaningless. Somebody could have stolen money. Somebody could have mismanaged funds, misdirected funds. Mastering your craft, somebody mismanaged funds. Somebody was working hard at what it is they do. And I feel like, I don't know if somebody misreported something, but there's some repair work that somebody's trying to do. This card talks about working hard, but it also talks about lack of ambition. Not working hard, not finishing something. Maybe you're not meeting your numbers or something like that, whatever that's about. But we see that there's a boss that's going to come and tell you some kind of good news about how they found out that a Virgo did something shady for some of you, there was a Virgo in your energy who may have half-stepped, didn't give it their all. They didn't do whatever they were supposed to do when it comes to work. They were not able to be practical about something. They did not contribute much to a project or work. There was a Virgo who didn't contribute much, right? There was a Virgo or somebody here who could have had a false judgment on you, Aries. Or this is, a, I don't know, some Virgo who was trying to steal. I feel like somebody could have tried to steal your work and take a... The easy way out, possibly. Give me more. All right. Some, yep, somebody was being sneaky. Somebody tried to betray you. They were dishonest. They had tactics. They had low self-esteem. And maybe they tried to project that onto you. Somebody was lazy at work, so they tried to steal yours straight up. And that's why they're getting the heck on out the door. Good job. 
<laughs> we'll go back and look at these again so I hate when it looks like that. That is so annoying to me. Oh my goodness. Hold on, guys. I know, right? Give me more, please. What else do we need to know? What did they... What was the dishonesty about? It says Aquarius... Aquarius there's a dishonest Aquarius here who could have lied about something, stole something, misjudged something. We have this. We have the Seven of Swords. We have Judgment Reverse. And then we have the Star. That's Aquarius... Scorpio energy, which is misjudgment, right? And then we have the Seven of Swords. Some of you guys stole something from a Scorpio or an Aquarius stole something from you, Aries, whatever that's about. All right, this is Pluto energy. Give me more. That's very close to Scorpio anyway, so I'm not surprised by that. Give me more. What did they steal? Tell me what was stolen from Aries, please. What was stolen from Aries? Somebody tried to steal some money. Whatever they try to steal, it looks like it could be something financial. It looks like whatever they did, they used a community of people to do it. Somebody was trying to get finances with the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe they sent somebody into you who was not upright, right? But it says that they were. Somebody took some sort of an approach to something, a reliable person who works hard. Maybe they stole something from a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or... I feel like somebody may have stolen something from somebody. I'm just not clear on what it is. This person is... Give me more. Clarify that, please, the lovers. Some of you guys had a dependable... Oh, somebody was trying to steal somebody's lover. A dependable lover. Somebody tried to steal a Gemini from you, Aries. Something with a Gemini that stole something from you. Or Aquarius was trying to steal your Gemini. The lover's card. Some kind of action taken and commitment choices. Now, remember I told you guys... Somebody's going to end up getting divorced here, but also there's a celebration at the end. There's abundance. So after this time, a heartbreak, and with the Eight of Cups, you having to walk away from a situation where you thought somebody loved you, where they were actually working with a team of people, group of people, and it was a low-quality plan, maybe to steal somebody's lover, make somebody end in divorce. And guess what? It looks like you may have found somebody else in this group plan failed. That's what it looks like. Somebody tried to steal your lover. It could have been somebody in a workplace who tried to pull up on your person. Maybe you and your person work in the same place, but I can tell you there was an Aquarius here in the mix that betrayed you. Strength card. So we have Leo that shows up here. It looks like you're self-assured now or somebody is now self-assured. Now, remember, there was a low-quality plan that worked. It may have worked. They may have tried to break you up with your people, but I feel like some of you guys saw it. There's some... Definitely leaving a job or leaving something. Somebody abandoned something, I'll tell you that. And they could have left because, well, they could have left because of the wand, right? There was a Leo that wanted something. Mm, false start. Some of you guys could have had a false start with a Leo. Some of you could have had a false start with a Gemini, Scorpio. <sighs> I feel like somebody at your job tried to get in the way of it. Somebody wanted to have a family or something like that. You got the Ace of Cups that comes out reversed here. Repressed emotions and blocked logic. Somebody wasn't thinking when they did something with the Ace of Cups. Something with a new baby, a relationship. At the end of the day, I feel like somebody does not end up getting what they want. And I feel like whoever's not getting what they want, I don't think they're happy about it. But the truth ultimately comes out about a situation. And somebody now understands that whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. There is some ending here, but I feel like the ending is going to be for the enemy. I don't necessarily think it's you, Aries. All right? Now, remember, somebody tried to do something to you for their own game and left you to deal with it in your own way. For some of you guys, you're in silence. You're not talking. You're in solitude. But because of that, you end up growing. Now, somebody tried to take something from you here. We have the Ace of Cups. It comes out reverse. There was something about being let down and feeling depressed and disappointed after a false start in a relationship or false start at a job or something like that final message the emperor hmm somebody tried to get in the way of you and an emperor there's something about a war going on a war tell me about this aries yeah. aries i feel like you're an emperor and you went to war with whoever tried to do this to you I feel like the divine, it says divine masculine. So this is male energy, could be female, right? You're about structure and control. You guys are trying to get something straight or settled inside of a group. Some of you guys, there's you, Aries, up against a Leo here. I feel like there were, there, or there is an Aquarius. 
there's an Aquarius here who did something. There's an Aquarius who knows that they're not going to be able to renew something with you. There's no way for them to set or turn back the hands of time. Something that was done is already done. For some of you guys, this is going to end up in a courthouse or you guys are dealing with a religious teacher. You have some kind of divine wisdom. What a queen of wands. Determination, adaptable. Set. You guys are going to keep going in spite of all these things that happen. But I feel like something is going to end up in the courthouse. There's a reason why there's a group of people leaving a situation. There's a reason why somebody's moving on from a job, changing careers. And there's a reason why something was cut out of your life. Aries, I feel like somebody else may have picked up on this before you did. It says that your boss got in the middle of it, got involved, and it looks like they may have changed something for the good. I'm not sure how this goes. These readings lately have been a little odd. It's like all these weird energies, all types of different people showing up. I don't want to pull love. Hold on, let me see. Let me just get advice. See what other cards I have here. Give me some clarity, please. Tell me the seven of wands. It's a barrier in communication or just tell me what I need to know about this plan, this project. Some of you guys, there's a dietary change that happened for you. You need to improve diet. Some of you guys are eating really bad. This could be due to depression or something like that. It says that if you eat better, your life is going to improve. I feel like whatever this situation is, it has some sort of impact on one's appetite. Maybe you had an impact on your ability to eat because of the situation stressing you out. I do see some of you guys worried about your memories. There are memories coming up about a Scorpio. Give me more. Mm -hmm. Business venture. There's a failed business venture, right? Now, I did tell you guys it was a project or a plan that failed. Somebody had a failed business venture. That's probably how they, that's probably why they have to walk away. In some cases, look at this a new career. These all came out reversed, but I can look at them anyway. Dietary change, business venture, new career. Some of you guys are trying to go into a new industry, and so far you can't get there because you're being stopped. There's going to be some sort of change in autumn time, though. We see that. I'm going to leave it there because I don't want this to be too complicated, and I already feel like it's a ton of information. I feel like you guys are having memories about something. This could be this job that you stepped away from, Aries. Or you were asked to leave, whatever that's about. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. This is a rabbit hole. These reads lately have been literally all over the place with all these... What do you say? Bells and whistles. and Anyway. I love you guys. I'll see you at the next read in a little while. Bye.